Hi, good evening everyone. I'm Romil and I'm back again. And today we are going to speak about different kinds of jackets. So I lead various clients, you know, all around the world, right from something like Australia, which is Mount Kosciuszko, to Kilimanjaro, to Mount Elbrus, Mount Etankarua, and to the Everest, right? We also do various kind of, uh, kinds of treks in boots and crampons, right from easier treks, 3000 meters in Manali, to you know, difficult ones like the Everest Base Camp and the Puna Circuit and such. So, the first thing which people ask who join us is that, you know, what kind of shoes they should wear. And we have already covered that uh, earlier and you will get the link in the description. And the second most important part, and that is what we are going to address today is what kind of jacket they should have. You know, these are the most important and most probable questions anyone who is signing up with us, they ask. And as you know, in the case of shoes, there's no one size which fits all. Similarly, in case of jackets, I'll tell you what kind of jackets are available in the market, different kinds of quality. And then I'm sure you'll be able to be in a better position to judge what kind of jacket should work for the Everest Base Camp, what kind of jacket should work for a day hike and such stuff, right? So let's get started. First and foremost, before you pick up any jacket, the various things which you need to know first and foremost, as I said, is the fitting, right? So just in case of the shoe, similarly, your jacket should fit you. It should not be oversized or smaller in size because the whole purpose is lost. So the first jacket, which I'm going to show you is the one I'm wearing. It's perfectly fit, right? So it's not for very big climbs, but then it's for normal day to day kind of stuff on the mountains. This is got thin baffles and the content inside is also small so it's good for uh, light treks easier treks and that is the place where you can wear it it's fitting well so that's most important part you know it's lightweight easy to carry it can easily be folded inside the pocket and it's for places which are not extremely cold so fit is important second important point is the hood you know it should have a hood because you need to cover your head once you're climb, uh, climbing big right so Second part, it should be, you know, having a hoodie if you're going for big climbs where the cold is going to be more. The material of the jacket has to be perfect. It should be breathable. It should be waterproof, preferably Gore-Tex. You know, something like this would solve the purpose wherein, you know, uh, it will be rugged and it won't get torn easily. So fitting hood. Second is, it should, third is that, you know, it should be a good material. It should be waterproof so that rains and all you are able to withstand. That's what Gotech is. And you know, any Gotech jacket will have pockets like these, you know, which are, you know, waterproof again. So water would not get inside this. So if this kind of jacket is there with these kind of uh, zippers, that means, you know, it's waterproof and will be able to withstand such problems of rains. Another very important point, you know, if you're going for heavier climbs, bigger climbs, a jacket like this, is the one which you should be looking for and why i say so because you know this is very puffy and you know i've worn it on big climbs like 7000 meters and all and it really solves the purpose well another good aspect of a heavy jacket is that you know it should have adequate number of pockets anything like mobiles your eatables chocolates and dry fruits you should be able to fit it in fact a water bottle can also be uh, fitted inside you can see the knit jack, uh, pocket and that water body will stay warm because of the heat which is generated by the body and then you have pockets otherwise as well so it should have adequate number of pockets it should have hoodie it should have, be of a material that is waterproof and we should be withstand you know diff diff difficult weather conditions like rain and all so all these things are important one very important aspect which I tell to all my people who are joining is that your jacket has to be visible. You know, it should not be in colors which are not visible from far because in mountains, things can happen wherein, you know, you're not uh, traceable or some uh, storm has happened. There is some snowfall which is happening, which is deserting in white out. So in such situations, it's very important that you are visible. Anything which is in bright colors like these, should be given a priority compared to, you know, dull colors. And last but not the least, the most important point in selecting any jacket is it should be budget friendly. You know, it's diff 
it's you know kind of a difficult thing to balance between quality and budget but then again it has to fit in your budget having said that it's not every day that you buy a jacket so it's highly recommended that you buy a jacket which is the warmest and solves the purpose right now i come to various aspects you know when do you wear this kind of a jacket and when do you wear a heavy jacket like this so this is not a jacket which you'll wear for big climbs this is okay for you know initial days for the everest base camp or for light climbs like you know i may say in uh, warm conditions you can wear it on patalso and all once you come to prime winters like december january you cannot even wear this for patalso you'll be frozen right in those conditions you wear something like this which is much heavier has more uh, uh, down inside and it will be able to solve the purpose for heavier climbs for big climbs like 6000 meters 7000 meters you know something like this will be only uh, one which will save you from the cold something like every space camp also you know there is no harm wearing heavy jackets because in places like gorakh shape and all you know temperatures do really go down so this no fun getting cold so in case you're going for big climbs like island peak you know every space camp in difficult times these are the jackets which you should be banging on and these will really give you good comfort you know you can always remove wear less layers make yourself less bulky if you invest in good jackets right from the beginning otherwise if you wear something like these the lighter ones then you'll keep wearing multiple layers multiple layers and then you know still you know don't feel well comfortable and of course you if you go to feel very heavy so ideally for big climbs or you know generally i have seen people suffering from cold so that is the place where you should be having a heavy jacket and always buy the best jacket you can afford because that way you know you can have a great experience once you're climbing otherwise believe you me it's no fun once you are in deep trouble because of excess cold that is the time you realize you know there is no point going for cheap jackets there is a purpose for every jacket and make sure the kind of climb you are attempting you know you have that corresponding jacket for that because there is no one size fits all so see what kind of trek or climb you are going and then get in touch with us we are at mail at boots.crampons.com always happy to help you out and do reach out to us in comments in case you think there is anything else you want us to cover in our lectures Thank you so much. Have a great day.